What up everybody, it's your boy Gaming Forte, back at it with another video. So I wanted to talk to you guys about Fortnite. Epic accidentally enabled crossplay between PlayStation 4, Xbox One over the weekend, and guess what? The world didn't end. This was found out by a PS4 player when he found out he was being killed by a gamer tag that shouldn't be available on the PlayStation platform. If you don't know, on PlayStation, you cannot have any spaces in between your names. You can only have like underscores and dashes and stuff like that. And the player that he was killed by it had spaces in his name so it prompted him to actually go look up the gamer tag or the PSN he looked it up on PlayStation couldn't find it he went on to Xbox and he found it and it was there and he also noticed that the person was actually playing Fortnite and the reason that this is such a very big thing is because PlayStation's come out and talked about how they wanted to protect the kids and all this other crazy stuff and the funny thing is most people probably don't know this but there's already cross-platform play between PlayStation and PC. And PC might be the most toxic environment that you can play in because it's unregulated. I'm not saying that PC players are bad or anything because I play on PC, but it's completely different from a closed environment like Xbox One, PS4, or even Nintendo with their lackluster situation when it comes to their online. So the biggest story here is how did this happen? Well, I have a theory. Mine is mostly the fact that they just released this Battle Royale mode for Fortnite. They see the success that PUBG is having. A lot of people are gonna be just completely ripping off PUBG for now on because any game that has this many concurrent users and breaking all these records and 10 million sold over the last five to six months is bound to just get copied and duplicated as much as it can be. But the thing is, I believe this happened on purpose. Any publicity is good publicity. That's how I look at it. And the fact that this game had this game mode announced and then all of a sudden over the weekend where it actually just rolled out, you accidentally turned on crossplay. I don't buy that. I feel like this puts Fortnite in the mindset of a lot of people out there that probably didn't even know about the game to actually want to say, well, wow, let me go check out this game. You know, the fact that it was the first game that had like limited crossplay over the weekend. It also brings up the conversation on how easy it is to implement cross Cross play. Now there was a couple developers that came out and said that hey we could just turn it on with a flip of a switch. That's what Rocket League developer said. You know it's just right there. We just hit the button and it turns on, which is something that a lot of people didn't believe was 100% accurate. It's got to be more to it. But this might just seem to be the fact that it might actually be the case. And if that is the case, why do we not see it more? Well, I'll tell you why we don't see it more. Right now, Sony's the market leader. They don't want to give any type of leeway to Microsoft or anybody else. Why do that when you can actually just hold people hostage to your one system? Now, Microsoft did this ever so long ago, and I understand that they had this same situation when it came to crossplay with games from PlayStation 3, and Xbox was the market leader then but that was a completely different regime. We got Phil Spencer, head of Xbox. Actually, he's the VP of gaming now. Congratulations on that promotion, sir. And I think he is more in tune with what gamers want today. Phil Spencer is a gamer. That's why I don't think it's very valid for the people to keep saying that, well, Microsoft didn't do this last generation, so why should Sony do it? Well, I just think that Microsoft is in the better situation to want to actually do things like this. They find the value in what the actual patrons want, what their consumers want from their system. And if they do that, then they know they'll get more sales. So this will really come into fruition over the next couple of years when the next platforms come out and where there's really no advantage for any system. And we'll see if Microsoft and Sony can actually button down the hatches and make this happen with the next iteration of systems. Cause I don't think it's going to happen this generation. It probably will never happen, but it's pretty cool to see that all it takes is a button press to actually get Xbox and PlayStation people fighting against each other and literally a console war and not just a war of words but guys what do you think did you get a chance to play fortnite over the course of that weekend did you see this happen let's talk about that in the comment section thanks for watching this video sub to the channel if you haven't like this video if you like the content turn on those notifications gonna let you know the next time my video goes live it's your boy gaming forte you guys have a great week and i'll talk to you in the next video peace